start with the next topic uh, that is base and limit register in the previous one in the previous video we have seen the introduction part of the main memory management okay in that we have seen that uh, we have to manage the user space that is main memory in such a way that multiple processes will be uh, executed simultaneously uh, without any hurdle or without any problem okay so in this regard we are having few terminologies uh, that is ba uh, base and limit register okay when we talk about the main memory so consider this main memory so this is my main memory okay so in this main memory i have divided uh, my main memory in such a way that uh, process 1 process 2 process 3 and number of processes may be processes up to n okay so these number of processes may be adjusted over here okay so whatever is the capacity uh, how many uh, processes will be executed at a time so it is depend on different machines okay so we are not talking about that but uh, say four processes uh, the capacity is for the four processes okay so we will divide our main memory will be divided into four sections so this is the four section we have process one process two process three and process four okay done now uh, now we need to take care of the addresses because uh, here we have to explain the base and limit register what, what is exactly base and limit registers are okay so for explaining the base and limit register you need to explain and uh, first you need to understand uh, the basic concept behind the uh, processes address okay so example your, pro your main memory start from zero okay and it ends over here like uh, two four six and eight okay so i'm just uh, uh, considering these addresses these are not the actual addresses okay i'm just considering and just explaining just for the explanation purpose and for understanding purpose okay so these uh, value will be something else in your machine okay so we have considered that this is the starting from zero and if, uh, uh, this is the eight okay so the total capacity of the main memory is eight units okay so out of these eight units uh, process one has uh, taken two unit process two has taken four uh, two units then process three has taken two unit and then two units okay so in this way the me the memory has been divided okay now how we will come to know that process one how anyone will come to know that process one is having a uh, process one is situated at which place okay how the user will come to know or how anyone will come to know if uh, any anyone wants to access this process one then how it will be accessed because it has been stored in the memory now okay and uh, so for understanding and for accessing this p1 for accessing how to access now the question is how to access how to how to access p1 okay so we can access this p1 using two registers okay using two register we can easily do it so separate per process memory space protect the processes from each other and is fundamental to having multiple processes loaded in the memory for concurrent execution okay so we need to ensure that and we need to ensure that uh, the processes can access only these legal addresses only okay so we have to ensure that process can access process can access only these legal addresses only these legal address okay for example if anyone who wants to access p1 process p1 then how he uh, then how it will come to know that process 1 is situated from this location to this location okay? and what is this location and what is this location okay so for accessing the p1 or for any process we have taken out two term that is base and limit register okay now we can provide the protection by using two register okay so we have provided the protection using two registers okay i call it as a registers okay and these registers are the base register and limit register what is what does base register does base register hold it hold the smallest the smallest legal physical memory legal c 
फिजिकल मेमोरी एड्रेस ओके सो यूर बेस रजिस्टर इन केस ऑफ पी वन इन केस ऑफ पी वन यूर यूर बेस रजिस्टर विल होल्ड द स्मॉलेस्ट लीगल फिजिकल एड्रेस ओके सो इट विल एक्सेस और इट विल स्टोर जीरो वैल्यू बिकॉज इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो सो यूर पी वन इज इन इन केस ऑफ पी वन द बेस रजिस्टर विल बी जीरो ओके वॉट अबाउट द लिमिट रजिस्टर सो दिस इज द लिमिट रजिस्टर वॉट डज लिमिट रजिस्टर डू लिमिट रजिस्टर स्पेसिफाइज द साइज ऑफ द रेंज इट विल स्पेसिफाइज द साइज ऑफ द रेंज द साइज ऑफ द रेंज ओके सो नाउ जस्ट दिस वैल्यू विल बी टू ओके स्पेसिफाइज द साइज ऑफ द रेंज सो हाउ मच दिस वन दिस इज टू ओके so for in case of process p1 in case of process p1 what will be the base register the base register will be 0 and the limit register will be 2 okay so it is starting from 0 it is starting from 0 your p1 is starting from 0 and it has the range of 2 okay so it is starting from 0 for example so it has started to 0 and it has a range of 2 so 2 2 is why no okay now we'll take another example okay so imagine this is again our main memory this is again our main memory so we have divided for process p1 we have from 0 to 3 for process 2 we have uh, 3 to 4 okay so and for process 3 we have uh, uh, again 2 uh, say 6 okay so it means that uh, process 1 has taken how many units it has taken three units process 2 has taken how many units only one unit process 3 has taken two unit okay now the values are changed now you will understand it clearly okay for p1 for p for p1 the base value will be the base register will hold which value the base register will hold zero value okay and what will be the limit register hold the limit register will hold 3 okay for p2 okay just imagine for the p2 i am writing over here you can just uh, manage okay so for this is separate part okay so for p in case in case of p2 the base register will be the base register the smallest number is 3 and the limit register will hold the range okay so i'll say 1 okay so the base it is starting from your p2 is starting from 3 so your p2 is starting from 3 okay your p2 is starting from 3 and it will go up to 1 okay so your base and limit register your base and limit register will clearly tell you that your process where your process is situated okay so using base and limit register you can easily find anyone can easily find where the process is situated okay